we want to graph two cycles of y equals cosine pi x, and then we need to determine the period. Now remember, the period is actually the easiest thing to find. So what we're going to do is find the period first. We're going to look at our base function, which remember is just the cosine of x. And so if we have this base function, we know that 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay, so so far so good. So what do we have? Well now, instead of x, we actually have pi x. So everywhere there's an x in this inequality statement, we're going to plug in pi x. Now how do I get x all by itself? Well this time I need to divide everything by pi. So once I've got everything divided by pi, I get 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. Hmm, different, right? So what does that mean? Well, that means that the period is from 0 to 2, but I don't want just one period, I need two cycles. So then if I'm going to have two cycles, my cycle is going to be double, so it's going to be 0 comma 2 times 2 is 4. So my cycle is going to go from 0 to 4. So how am I going to do that? Well, this time you're going to use whole numbers to actually use for x values. So I'm going to come up on the right hand side because I know I'll run out of room on the other side. Again, I have x and I have my y, which is the cosine of pi x. And I'm going to use 0, 1 half, 1, 3 halves, 2. Now you could just do, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, but you need to also know what does this function do maybe in between your whole numbers. So make sure you take that into account when you're actually choosing your x values. So what does that mean? Well, if I use 0, I get 1. If I do 1 half, I get 0. If I do 1, I'm going to get negative 1. If I do 3 halves, I get 0. And if I do 2, I get 1. So now all you need to do is actually graph the function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you pause the video, you graph it, come back, and check your answer. So your graph should resemble the one that I've drawn. Now as you'll notice, I kind of didn't hit the mark when I did the uh, 2 and a half. But otherwise, it's pretty good. So make sure yours resembles this. Remember, you can check it on your graphing calculator or you can check it on the app or the online calculator as well.